It's the APBA Gold Cup in Season 1 of Hydro Sim and the Saturday Night Hydro League. We had 14 boats qualify for this race today. There's your top qualifier, and as we run through the heat winners, we'll overlook the Detroit River race course. In the new Hydro Sim game, we have real water physics with wakes and waves, smooth water, rough water, rooster tails. We also have aerodynamics. The drivers have a working front canard wing that they use to control the attitude of the boat. If you want to go fast, you've got to fly the boat out of the water a little bit, but if you fly it too high, you'll blow over and that's a disaster. We've got new names and some old familiar names from the old Hydromod game. There's Scott Prisbilski. He's the brains behind this whole operation. A software engineer who builds these games for hydro racing fans. And uh, in a minute, we'll run through the boats that are going to be in today's final heat. They've had to come through a lot of racing to get to this point. We ran four sections of heats. There's Jeff DeWalt, an old Hydromod racer. You also saw Chris Porton in there who won a lot of Hydromod races. Here's a boat that I have a soft spot for. It's our consolation winner, so he will be the trailer in the final. Here's our final heat lineup, which we will run through for you in just a minute as we now have a shot of the boats leaving the pits here on the Detroit River with just about four minutes to go, 4.10 there, before the start of the final heat. This is a very rough race course. On one end, it's got the biggest turn on the circuit, the Belle Isle Bridge turn. And on the other end, it's got the notoriously tight rooster tail turn, which is the tightest turn on the circuit will reach speeds of 200 miles an hour before they have to slow it down, put the boat down, and make that turn. Nicholas DJ Miller, your top qualifier and also top point getter today, is in the final along with Cy Bowen driving the Tide. Always a front-running boat this year. Mickey Washburn, another Hydromod veteran. He's got the bright, shiny Oberto. Crossing the infield 
right in front of it onto the back stretch. So they are going to take probably the first two lanes as Eddie will have to move outside of their wakes and possibly go up and take lane three. As they come down the back stretch now, you can see the two leaders and they look to be set up pretty well for a start that'll be right on time. Those boats coming up from behind will have to go outside them. It's too late to leapfrog and get in front of them. We're inside 30 seconds now and you can see Miller on the inside and Cy Bowen looks to be in lane two as they crawl around the rooster tail turn. They have to keep it above 60 miles an hour right there. And they are spooling up to head up to the start. They're not going that fast. Here comes someone on the outside. That's Washburn in the Oberto, and he is wiring it with really big speed. That was close. We'll have to see if that was legal. And now the Oberto is bouncing wildly. That's going to slow him down out there in that rough water. He's going to have to get that boat under control, and he's really out of attitude there. As they head into turn one, it is the tide in the lead in lane two. And now we see that the Oberto has jumped the gun. That's going to put him a lap down. Our leaders are now coming out of turn one, entering the back stretch. You can see the tide there in the lead on the outside with DJ Miller in lane one in a hot pursuit. And they are going to go down the back stretch side by side. Oh, the tide is flying high. How does he keep that on the water? I don't know, as they pass the Yacht Club, they're going to have to put him down and get around that tight unit. Uh, rooster tail turn. You can see Eddie Canfouche trailing the leaders in third place. As they come around to finish lap one, the tide has about a half a rooster tail lead. That is a great duel there now. Coming up to the uh, Belle Isle turn, it's a wide turn. You don't have to slow down that much for this turn. And that means that the inside boat usually has an advantage if you can get through there cleanly. But the tide is holding him in tight line and the tide is really maintaining his speed and he's coming off the turn still holding the lead and they are going down the back stretch for a second time in pretty much the same position that they did last time here's a view from the yacht club as they come down the back stretch you see your leaders go by then eddie canfush in third and we're overhead the rooster tail turn now your leaders are getting through there cleanly. There's Eddie in third. And it looks like the fourth and fifth boats both got into some trouble there. And here's another look at it. It looks like the 96 guitar took a bad hop and nosed in at the same time as a pay impact blowover. So that will knock those two drivers out of the Gold Cup final. Outside boat has a little bit of an advantage to keep his speed 
step. There you see Eddie Cantu still following in third. Riding with DJ Miller one more time. This on the front stretch, which has a little bit of a dog leg to the left in it. And he has just been unable to get free and get past the boat to his right, which is the tide. Now you see his engine flaming out a little bit, which just shows you how tough this course is on these boats. They say you don't beat the Detroit River, you survive it. Now, DJ Miller has taken a little bit of a lead on the back stretch, but there goes Cy Bowen flying by him on the outside. As they head past the uh, Yacht Club one more time into the rooster tail turn, they're gonna come off the turn side by side and it's gonna be a drag race. And the, uh, oh, DJ Miller got really out of shape there and that is gonna hand the victory to Cy Bowen in the tide. Miller recovers to take second, and Eddie Canfouche takes third in the Lumar. Mickey Washburn jumped the gun, so he was penalized a lap, but he inherited fourth place when the other two boats, the Qatar and the Pay Impact, crashed out. So that was a really exciting Gold Cup final heat. It was a duel the entire five laps, with Cy Bowen able to uh, hold off DJ Miller from lane two. Eddie Canfouche is your season high point leader so far, followed by Miller and Bowen. And congratulations to Cy Bowen driving the U8 Tide. He's your APBA Gold Cup winner. That's race five out of six in Hydro Sim season one. The final race will be San Diego Bay Fair coming up in a couple weeks. We'll see you then from the Saturday night Hydro League and Hydro Sims.